Hello Aquarius, thank you very much for tuning in to your love read. For the main part of the read, I'm going to use the Modern Spellcasters Tarot by Melanie Marquis, illustrated by Scott Murphy. For the support of Oracle Cards, the Angel Answers Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue and Randy Valentine. What else do we need here? Okay, I wanted to jump right in, so let's jump right in. There's a lot, the energy is like, whew. the last reading was not this energized, I'm just going to say that. <clears throat> it wasn't, they were, the last reading I just did was good too, but there's a lot of energy with this one, like it's going fast, I feel like things are going fast. Um, and I, I see you're standing with the Fool card, you're optimistic, you're getting involved, it's going forward, but I'm also seeing like this, this seems to be... Like, I feel like you're engaging with your partner and you're going the way they want to go with it. I'm getting the fool card is like, they're saying what they want to do. They're like, let's do this. And they got the two of, no, the page of cups. Like, they're very excited about the plans. It's the page because I feel like they want your assistance with it. And I feel like they're telling you what they want, or what, they, what they'd like to do. And I feel like you're like, all right. I can I can back that and I feel like you're going forward and you're help you're I feel like you're not only helping make it happen, I feel like you're making it happen, to be honest with you. I feel like you're making it happen. They're telling you what they want, what they're excited about. You're making it happen. And then the next phase that comes in See this is this is your challenge card is the Queen of Sort Wands. I get that, but I feel like the next thing that comes in is the your partner seems to, to take it and just kind of fly with it. But I feel like whatever it is they wanted to do, I'm getting you started it, they took over, and then took it on their own. Like, I don't feel like you're connected with it. <laughs> I don't feel like you're connected with it. Is that true? Oh, so it's like, wait a minute. They, they just say, they tell you what they want, what they're looking to do, what they'd like to happen. You're very you're enthusiastic. You get things together. You get it all set. And you you kick it off. I feel like you even kick it off, honestly. But then they seem to take they take it on their own and they just take it off on their own. But I don't feel I feel like they take it off on their own without you. That seems a little interesting. Now, when they do that, you got the three of swords with the be assertive. Okay, so they're making sure I see this. Okay. So, I'm getting you're very upset when they take this off on their own. They go their own way with it, and they kind of, like, leave you on your own. And you're, you're, you got the Three of Swords for good reason. Like, what do you mean you're leaving me in the dirt? Like, I, I, I made this happen for you, and then you're just leaving me here, and you're taking it on your own. The Be Assertive is like, don't accept that. Then your challenge card is also the Queen of Wands. Okay. They're saying, don't, don't let that be the case. Stay involved. Push yourself into the situation. You started it. You got it going. Keep going with it. Because they're telling me between the two of you, you have a lot of love for your partner. Spiritually, this is your card, the Two of Cups. Spiritually, this is their card, the Queen of Pentacles. They're very, they're very secure with you. And I feel like they... I just feel like they got a little overexcited and just kind of went on their own and they weren't realizing, like, they're just over-secure. Like, they're just expecting you're going to take care of yourself. And they should have looked out for you. They should have. That's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling like they should have kept an eye out for you and brought you along with them. And it just didn't work out that way. But they're, they're telling me here that the relationship is really strong. And don't let this become, like, a, a bad moment due to an oversight, because I feel like your partner's having, like, this weird oversight, and they're going on without you, and they're not really, like, I don't know, I feel like they just get caught up in the momentum, and then just, like, they're just not, they're just, just not clicking, that, like, they should have made sure you were set, too. It's almost like you got everything ready, and then they went forward, and then the next phase kicked in, they were all ready and went, you still needed help getting the rest of your stuff ready, and they didn't help you, they just went on and did their own. And they should have held back and helped you too, so you could have went to forward together. That's what I'm getting here. 
I'm getting because you're you're very upset about this. You're heartbroken that you know how could you just leave me here? Why didn't you help me too? Like I, I did all this for you, and then you take off and leave me and just leave me in the lurch. Like how could you do that? They're saying don't accept that. Be assertive. Say how you feel. You know, demand that you get you get some support in return. And they're getting that's your challenge card, the Queen of Wands. Even if it's one of those things where you have to get yourself up to speed and you're, you're joining them in the same situation, also make sure that they realize, like, bring it to their attention. Like, you left me in the lurch, and that sucks. Don't do that to me again. Like, because I'm getting where you're standing is the Four of Swords. Like, I feel like you're going to you're gonna kind of hold back, and you might kind of be like, if I say something, I'm going to rip my partner a new one because I'm upset, and you don't want to cause a fight. And I feel like that's why you're kind of holding back, because you don't want to cause a fight. And you're upset. You're upset that they did this to you, but I'm getting you really do need to say something. That's why the Queen of Wands is here. It's like, you are upset. You need to say something. Don't let it Don't let it pass by. Don't let it just be there because it'll cause more problems later. It needs to be solved now. They need to see what they did. They need to be aware of it, and they need to know how you felt. Because <coughs> I do get that like, they're, they're going to... Um, they're going to rectify... Well, what, what card do we have over here? We have... In the near future with the Five of Pentacles. I'm getting, whether you bring it towards their attention or not, they're going to realize what they, they did, and they're going to feel bad about it. They are, either way. If you push it forward and explain to them how upset you are, that opens the door for healing. Because they'll know how you feel, you'll be able to, you know, find out how they feel, and there'll be some healing, there could be some apologies, or some, some type of making it right. If you don't say something, I'm getting that they're going to feel bad about it. They're just going to try to, like, kind of sweep it under the rug. But I also feel like this is going to cause problems. Like, if it's not dealt with, it's going to cause more problems later. Um, because I'm getting their challenge card is to work it out. I know that may be strange for this card, but that's what I'm getting. They need to work it out. They need to tend to the relationship. They need to address what they did wrong. I don't feel like they purposely did that. They just really got short-sighted for, for a moment there and went on on their own. And I feel like you just need to tell them how you feel, and I feel like this is going to work out. But if you don't say something, it will linger. It will be a problem later. Because I'm getting what makes this situation better is the Ten of Pentacles. After after you've explained how you felt, and if you if you if it's a little sharp, then it's a little sharp because your feelings were hurt. You know, that's how it is. <laughs> Um, but afterwards, I'm getting, this makes things better because there's a stronger bond afterwards because it was addressed. It didn't linger. You said how you felt. They did what they needed to do to rectify it. And the situation is in the past and it's done. If it's not addressed though, I'm telling you, it's just going to be waiting like a, like a landmine. And at one point something's going to go wrong. Somebody's going to step in that landmine and there's going to be a lot of hell to pay for it. Because I feel like it'll fester. Like, it'll get worse because it'll have all this momentum and these feelings that were not dealt with that have been kind of, like, growing and, like, some discontent. It'll be worse. Um, I'm getting, like, your partner... What makes things better for your partner is to, like, address it. Like, I feel like there's kind of, like, an apology feeling there. Acknowledge it type feel. Because I'm getting what makes things better for them is to address it and then kind of move on from it um, <clears throat> with the knowledge, like, keep an eye out. Because I'm getting, like, what makes it better for them is to realize what happened and then let it be what it was and move forward in a better mode, like, to have the reference. Because I'm getting the three of wands, is like, I feel like they're letting it be. They're letting it go and... I feel like they need to release any worry because I feel like they're more concerned like you're upset with them and like they've made a, a big hit to the relationship. Um, what makes things better for them is to actually let it go. The only thing that's a concern with your partner, and this is either way, um, but it, it's better if you address it because they could sit with it and feel like this is going to be like, I feel like they're addressing it like a mistake they made and they're feeling guilt over it. <clears throat> By you addressing it, though, it does clear that energy away. 
I do also see though it's it's gonna take them a little time to actually let it go, but letting it go and moving on and like letting go of the worry because I feel like when they when they realize it, whether you bring it forward or not, when they realize it, I I'm getting that they're worried about what what they've done to the relationship and how they might have damaged the relationship with you. I feel like they're worried about the damage to the relationship most. Like between you and them, I feel like they're looking at it like they made a really bad blunder. They were just very thoughtless and they feel bad about it and they're worried that there's a, like they've damaged the relationship. You bringing it forward, I feel like that does circumvent that to a point, but then they really have to relax and then realize like as time goes forward, that you're not holding a grudge in any sense because you brought it forward. It's okay. It's been talked about. And it, it did make an impact on them. I also feel like this might be a pattern with this person where they might just be a little bit like, um, I want to say ADD, where it's just like, you know, their attention goes one way and they just go with it. And then it's not something else grab, grabs their attention and they just go with it. And I feel like there's concern on their side that like they, they, they don't mean to do these things, but it just seems to be hard for them to not. They don't purposely do it, but it's the way their brain works. They just kind of go. Um, but I'm getting the more you communicate and bring it to their attention, the more that they get this pattern in their head. What am I doing? What's my partner doing? Like there's this pattern they're building in their head. Like what am I doing? What's my partner doing? I don't know if that makes sense. Because I feel like they're not purposely forgetting you but like the way their brain works they have to develop a pattern like what am I doing what's my partner doing it's not I don't know how to explain it. it's not like against anybody it's not because they don't care because they do feel like they care greatly about you I do but it's like I don't know how to explain it unless you understand how this energy works like something catches their attention and they're just going towards it and it just, it's almost like tunnel vision um, or hyper focusing I think somebody explained it to me once they just get very centered on that, and that's all they can think about. They just go that way, and they have to develop a pattern where they're like, "What am I doing? What's my partner doing?" And they they're they're gonna have to develop this, and it's like this situation is helping them get closer to doing that because I feel like that's what they need to do. What am I doing? What's my partner doing? And they just need to do that quick mental check, and if they can get into that pattern, it'll be better. It won't go away. I feel like this is still, there's still going to be little snafus along the line. But I feel like if at least you realize that they're not purposely trying to forget you, like they're not, it's not like a jilt thing. It's just kind of like their brain. It's just, I feel like there's like a hyper focus thing. Like, ooh, and then they just, ooh, and they just go. I just feel like that happens if something really excites your partner. They, they're not realizing that they're doing that until after the fact. Um, and it's all about hopefully getting that pattern down. What am I doing? What's my partner doing? It's not going to be foolproof, but at least it'll be better. All right, I think that's good. Because I'm getting, as, the, as this moves on from this time period, I'm getting you're aware of it. I'm feeling you're probably already aware of it, to be honest with you. But I feel like you bringing it forward, and that's one of the reasons like you're not even sure if you want to bring it forward, because you're just like, Ugh, they just do this. But no, they're like, no, bring it forward. Keep that communication up. Even when even when you realize they didn't purposely do it, you still need to communicate it when it happens because they need to know that because they do realize it after the fact. And I feel like they feel really bad about it after the fact. So you mentioning it, bringing it forward, that's very important. That's very good because that's setting you up for success as well. There's still going to be snafus going forward, but you need to constantly communicate about it because they realize you care. And I feel like it also releases them from some guilt because they, they can address it. And there is always, like, after they do it, I feel like they figure it out after the fact, and there's guilt after it. And I feel like that's the pattern. Like, ooh, fun. Ooh, more fun. Oh, my God, what did I do? I forgot my partner. Like, oh, I can't believe I did that. And I feel like there's a lot of anxiety. Like, what did I do to my relationship? Did I damage my relationship with the Aquarius? What did I do? Um, and I feel like this is a pattern that's going to keep going in the future. But the more you make sure you say something, it's easier, actually, for them because they get to address it instead of just kind of like hoping it'll just go away <laughs> because they keep doing this. They can't seem to help it. Are we just going in circles? Because I feel like I'm going in circles now. All right, they're saying, I feel like that's the second time they've come around telling me that, you know, everything is here. So you got the gist of what you need. I feel like we need to let it go. All right, <clears throat> let's do Aquarius singles. Aquarius singles.
What do we got for Aquarian Singles? Aquarian Singles. What do we have for Aquarian Singles? Messages for Aquarian Singles. Messages for Aquarian Singles. Oh, the Lover's Card popped up again. That's a good thing. Oh my gosh, how many cards do I need? Okay. <laughs> wow, I was like, are we going to put the whole deck out? Like, for the love of it. I mean, they're all good. I don't want to che cheat, 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 whatever. Cheat anybody out of uh, anything, but, like, we have to use the whole deck? And I sh I'm actually being overdramatic. There's only four extra cards. It's not that bad, but <laughs> still, I'm like, come on. All right. I feel like there's a lot of cards here, but let's see what we got. Um, my first thing is where you're standing is sl slow and steady wins the race. Now, I feel like this is partially advice, but partially kind of how you're handling it. You're going about this slowly, which is interesting because I feel like the situation started off with a bang. Whatever is going on here, like, you're still single, but the interest or the connection, whatever, started off with a bang with the Eight of Wands. But I feel like you're looking at it, and you're working at it, and the advice is to take it slow and steady. Slow and steady wins the race. Um, and I'm feeling like you have to be accommodating to this other person. That makes sense, because it's kind of, it felt kind of similar to the first part, but still. I'm getting you're more accommodating, and they're saying, don't stop that. That's good. Because I feel like you're trying to make things work out here, but they're like, slow and steady wins the race, because right now you're more accommodating. That can't be, that can't define this whole relationship, though, but for right now, it's okay. While things are, like, kind of settling in or developing, developing. Um, that's what they're saying, so I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs> um... Slow and steady wins the race, but I feel like something is like what's something is a little frantic here, because I get the um, the nine of wands with the within the next few weeks. So I'm feeling that over the next all right over the next few weeks, you don't really know if this is gonna work out or not. You don't know if this is really a match or not. I should say, um, you don't know if you really should be a part of this or not. But they're giving me again. Going slow and sure, you'll figure it out a lot easier because I'm getting, by you being more accommodating, you're overcoming the challenges here, but you're also over overcoming the adversity, the things you're worrying about, the, because you're not, I, I feel like you're not really sure what's going to happen, if this is really a match or not, and be, by being overly accommodating, I feel like it's overly accommodating in the sense of like, you really just want to figure out what is happening with this person? Where do they stand? What type of person are they? I feel like you're being extremely nice, and I feel like you're letting them have some wiggle room to figure out what they really want. And I'm getting that they are really appreciating that, and they're showing that appreciation. This is where things seem to make more sense for the two of you, and I'm getting like, you're overcoming the adversity uh, which number is that? Seven of Wands. You're in, but they're also doing the same because you're giving them that leeway. When you come together, I feel like you're extremely like appreciative, appreciative of each other, and the leeway you've given each other. Because while you're actually giving them leeway, they feel like their life is a little bit demanding. So they they feel like they have to bend a little as well. What is that about, though? But I'm getting they're extremely appreciative that you're very accommodating to them, but they're feeling like they have to make allowances in their own life to make the, to give this situation a chance. All right, so it's not so much like they're doing it... It's not like they're giving to you, but they're, like, giving to the situation. They're giving the situation a fair chance. You're being overly accommodating. You're giving this person all the ability in the world to move things around. You're very flexible at this moment is what I'm getting. And I feel like they're extremely appreciative of that. 
and what they're doing is they're moving their own schedule around in their own life around to, to make sure that they can see you they can they can spend some time with you and I feel like that's where they're giving in a little bit but that's not like that's not I don't know it's not like how do I put this because I feel like it makes sense like they, they're they're doing it actually for themselves to give you a chance like they're, they're giving themselves a chance to give you a chance I feel like they're kind of... They, I don't know if that makes sense. I, I, I feel like I'm stumbling on how to explain that, but I, I explained what exactly is going on, so I figure you can decide what you feel about that. We'll leave it at that. Because the the motivation behind it is the interesting part, but what they're actually doing is moving their schedule around to make sure that they can see you at these times that you've been so flexible with. So they're making sure that they stay on point and they do honor these commitments with you good because I feel like this person maybe in the past has had a bad habit of canceling dates and things like that I don't think that's happened with you but they've done it with other people and the fact that you're going out of your way to be flexible I'm getting that they're they're looking at it like how can I not make sure that I end up on you know how can I not make sure that I show up for this date when this person the Aquarius is basically bending over backwards to accommodate my schedule. And I feel like they're looking at it that way. Like, how can I not hold up my side? And I feel like this is where you're coming together very strongly because this is a pattern that's moving into the future. Now, I'm getting... That lover's card is where you're matching up. You're, you're seeing eye to eye. And then as the future comes in... There's a heavy energy. There's a heavy energy. You got the King of Swords with the Page of Swords. This flip-flops. And then what I mean by that, sometimes you're the king, sometimes you're the page. And, you're, and the same for your partner, this person that might end up being your partner, I should say, to be fair. Because um, I'm getting like, it's kind of like one side says a lot of what they're feeling and thinking, and the other side seems more passive and receptive. And then the other side starts going on, going on about what they're feeling and thinking, and the other side seems more passive and receptive. Because I feel like one side goes and says what they're thinking and what's going on and how they feel and how they see it. The other side is just kind of receiving it and listening and absorbing. And then it seems like there might be a couple moments, like it might be time in between. Like one time you guys meet up, one of you is more active and chatty than the other, says a lot, talks a lot, lets a lot out. The other one is more receptive. Then the next time comes around, that information that's been absorbed is like been, you know, thought over, and then it's returned with what you think about it, and the other side is more receptive. Blah 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 blah, and it goes back and forth. And it feels like this goes on for a little while, to be honest with you, because I feel like this is like getting closer, getting deeper into each other's lives, understanding how each feels about what they're doing, about what they're actually having to do, about responsibilities in each other's lives what you'd like to see, where you'd like to go in life, what your goals are. Like, I feel like a lot is happening here. But I am noticing it's like one gives a lot of information, the other one receives, and then that's kind of absorbed. And then the next time around, it's like, it seems to mostly go back and forth like that. And I'm getting like, the meditation brings answers. I'm getting like, this is kind of like advice. You could end up, like, trying to do that in the same conversation where one gives a lot of information and then the other gives a lot of information. The meditation brings answers. I feel like it's better if one if one of you says what you need the first time and then, like, there's a, an absorption period. Because I'm getting meditation brings answers. It's like what, what's being said needs to be thought through. It makes sense. You understand it. But it's like really thinking about... How does this affect other things? How does this fit in other places? You know what I mean? What what are the what are the definites? What are the facts? What are the constants here? And how are they gonna fit in your life? How are they gonna fit in their life? Like they're telling me there's afterthought is necessary. Like to rethink about what was said, rethink about how you felt about it, rethink about what else you need to add to the conversation. Like I'm getting meditation brings answers is like this afterthought, like on your own. Talking things between each other is good, but you also need to both, hopefully both, but especially you because this is your reading. 
step off to yourself on your own when you have time to yourself. Just think it through. Rethink everything that was told to you and hash it out for yourself so you could categorize it for yourself, have a stronger standing about where you are, and then have a better understanding about what you need to talk about some more that you're not comfortable with, maybe. It feels like there's a lot of intellectual activity going on there, a lot of it. And I feel like this is the part where you're hashing it out. Does this really work? Does this really work? Because I feel like this person is going at this and they're feeling like because you're so accommodating here in the center, they're thinking like this is going to cement in. They have they would like this because they like how you're handling this, that you're so flexible, they seem to really like this, but they're also realizing like, you know, they can't expect somebody to live that way. They're very well aware of that. I'm getting that as well. But the fact that you're willing to, at least on occasion, that means a lot to this person. Because I'm getting where they're standing is the Ace of Pentacles with the big happy changes. They're thinking you could be a great addition to their life. You could be that partner they're looking for. There could be a very... Because it seems like you're very understanding to like what they have to go through. And as long as they hold up their side and do their best to make it work out, they're feeling like this could actually be a great relationship. And that's why all these intellectual conversations are happening, because they definitely want this to work out. You need to have time to think about things and look through it yourself, but definitely there's a lot of hashing out there. Now, I'm getting the end here, and I'm seeing it all. This seems to play together with this other person in the sense of, like, they're feeling like this is a good idea. No? Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Let's go to the end cards. At the end, you have the King of Fire, King of Wands, which I'm seeing is fire here. You have the High Priestess, and you have, what's the last one there? Nine of Swords. See, that Nine of Swords is like, it's making me wonder. Because the wheel is turning. I'm seeing that here, and I, I wanted it to be turning to your favor, but I'm not sure that exactly where this is going just yet, so let's absorb. Because right on top of this, they have the unlikely card. Because I'm getting you... You have to actively say how you feel about the whole situation. I'm getting you're hashing it all out. You have to think it through. And I'm getting you're coming forward with things that you just can't go along with you're addressing like these are certain things I can go with this is good this is fine I can do this but there's certain things you can't go along with and I'm getting like you're bringing that forward because you have to and I'm getting it's like the both of you have to look at what's realistic here what's what are the good points here but what are the bad points and I'm getting the way this is ending is like it doesn't really feel like it matches. I wanted it to, to match for you, but I'm getting it's unlikely that this is going to work out. And I'm getting, like, there's there's a little bit of sadness between the two of you. You both would like it to work out, but there's certain things that the, the other person can't negotiate on that you're not willing to negotiate on. And I feel like you're deciding, you know what, before this becomes a real problem, I don't think this is going to work. And that's, okay, I'm getting that's the wheel turning and that's why the yes or the exclamation is there because, like, this isn't going to work. Because there are things that this person cannot negotiate on. For whatever reason, they cannot. And those things that they can't negotiate on, are, they're, they feel like they're unacceptable to you. Like, you can't do that. You're just like, I don't want that. I don't want to be a part of that. That's just not going to work for me. I feel like you're looking at it very honestly. You're like, you realize they can't change those things. And you're also very strong with like, you don't want to be a part of that. You don't, you can't accept that either. You can't be a part of that. That's not, you don't want that. And I feel like that's why this is not working. I wanted that to go your way. I really did. But the way it's feeling is like it's not. That's how it's coming to its end. You are definitely trying to work it out, though. Like, there's a lot of conversation. There's a lot of talk. That's why these conversations are so important, because you're seeing it. You're addressing it. 
you come forward at the end, like, well, this is what I can do. This is what I can. They're like, well, I can't change those things. And I feel like you're both agreeing, like, this isn't going to work. All right, I'm going to let that go there. Um, thank you for watching. I hope that helps. Uh, if you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. James, the number four, astral at gmail.com. Thank you.